Hey everyone, it's Curly Eyed Hero, and you know, things didn't go so well last time. Uh, at least we didn't lose in like some sort of crazy shutout. Things were relatively close every single game. Uh, but the fact that I also lost my extra set of magic ruler, which I wagered, is kind of unfortunate. But let's just go ahead immediately and just jump into it. Uh, I want to try and see if I can get some either stronger spells or stronger monsters ideally. Um, because it seems that I sort of misread how Kane was gonna go. I thought he was gonna maybe not pull a lot of strong monsters in uh, Metal Raiders, and I thought he was gonna be forced to stick with like the more defensive strategies. So I was gonna try and go more offensively, but he took out most of his defensive monsters. So let's see if we can pull something good here. Uh, we're going to get Penguin Knight Black Illusion Ritual, which is might not be half bad. Um, weather report might actually be uh, an interesting little clutch card because it's um, destroys all face up swords or revealing lights on the field. And if I destroy it, I can actually perform my battle phase twice. <laughs> um, or my on that turn or my next turn, so that's uh, that's that's kind of funny <laughs> considering he's playing three of them. I don't know, that might actually make the deck. Uh, we're gonna get another copy of Giant Trunade, which I think is still like forbidden, so I don't think I can actually play another one right now. I'm uh, gonna get Mahavalo, which is not half bad, as well as a bunch of field spells here Rising Air Current, uh, Mystic Plasma Zone, Gaia Power, and Molten Destruction. Uh, whew, yes, we're gonna get a Cyber Jar here, which is really good, as well as Chain Energy. Uh, high tip Gaijin is not half bad. Electric Snake, I don't think I'll see any use of that. I uh, got another Illusion Ritual, uh, Final Destiny here. And uh, Luminous Spark, so I think that kind of completes it. I'm also going to get send you the Dows in Hands. Ooh, an Upstart Goblin, actually. That's kind of good. Uh, that gives us a chance to draw a little more. Um, nothing amazing here. Uh, another final destiny here. This is a card. It's pretty funny because it's uh, it's a card I use a lot in the Rashifa Destruction and the um, Sacred Cards playthroughs. But in actual Yu-Gi-Oh, they're not so great at all. Uh, I'm gonna get a Mega Morph, Ultra Rare Mega Morph. That's actually really good, especially considering that I have um, Mataza. Yeah, Mataza the Zapper. I almost forgot his name for a second. So that's kind of interesting. Imagine. Power up Mataza with some, with like Lightning Blade, so he's 2600 attack, then giving him Megamorph, so he has a whopping 5200 and then hitting him for that. Obviously, after that, his attack is cut in half, but that's still pretty interesting. Um, as well as a giant rat and another upset Garblin. Ooh. I don't know if that's limited or not, but we'll have to check. I'm pretty sure it's probably limited to one right now. Uh, nothing too useful there. I got a ooh, got a Karate Man, which is pretty cool. Uh, Taylor of the Fickle is kind of interesting if I'm going this like super equipped route, because uh, it just lets me switch equip mods, those equip cards. So if like I get Mataz later on uh, and I equipped it to something else, I can switch it. But I don't really have any good equips to be playing that right now. Uh, Eternal Rest removes all equip spells, so. Uh, it'd be kind of funny if Kane sides into this. And I'm going to get another weather report. <laughs> Might actually have to play it. Uh, Ceremonial Bell is kind of interesting, too. It's a okay defensive monster. It's basically Wall of Illusion, just with no attack. But if it's face up, both players have to play with their hands revealed. So I have, I'll be able to know everything that Kane has, as well as him knowing what I have. Um, let's go ahead and open up some more packs. Um, nothing great here. Sonic Bird is interesting. Uh, nothing amazing. Uh, Toon World! We're actually gonna get the fucking Toon World. Oh man, alright. Maybe that'll come in useful later on. And uh, I think only a single nimble Mononga. Um, that's kind of whatever. Would've liked some more nimbles or some more giant germs, something. Uh, nothing great here. I got Malevolent Nuzzler, I just kind of glazed over that, but... That's actually pretty good. Uh, Mystic Tomato, Think Lord. This is good too. This is gonna work super well with the Sangas and the Witches. I realized last time Triple Witch isn't great with the Nuerata. Uh, so, as excited as I was to pull them almost back to back, I'm probably still gonna go back to playing maybe one, maybe two Witches at max. Because uh, being in a situation when I have two Witches down and I can only get the effect of one of them to go off is pretty bad. 
in a situation that I think we ran into way too many times last time. And I think this is my third weather report. Uh, he actually, you know, his defenses aren't horrible. <laughs> so if he, you know, Kane summons a witch or Mystic Tomato or something like that, tries to attack into it, it won't work. Um, so I don't know, weather report might actually see some use. Uh, ooh, we did get the relinquished, and I think I got a good amount of uh, the ritual spell. Unfortunately, I need at least another relinquished to even consider it, but that's that's pretty good. Um, adhesive trap is pretty garbage. Um, Epagon, I think it's only for like a thousand or more. Uh, nope, it's even worse. It's 500 or more, or or less, so I don't know what... I thought uh, Adhesive Trap was the one that was weaker, but I guess not. Uh, nothing really good here, unfortunately. Um, nothing great here that we didn't already have. Uh, gonna get another Mystic Tomato, which is nice. What does Adhesive Trap tape or do? Oh, it's... It's the defense of the summoned monster. Oh, that's garbage. I was hoping it was like in Sacred Cards and Shiva Destruction where I could use like Epagon in case he summons Sangin. I wasn't really gonna do that, but it would have been nice to have the option. Curse of Fiend is interesting because it's really, it's like the worst worded card in the world. But, um, yeah, for some reason I can only activate it in the standby phase and then it just changes the positions of all monsters on the field and they can't be changed. Um, uh, for that turn But this was just early Yu-Gi-Oh, so they just worded everything really weird So that's not horrible. I guess if he has like if he sets up Swords and he just starts setting a bunch of shit I can go ahead and activate this to flip stuff up and then if I've already for example used my Weather report, which I'm obviously gonna have to play that might that might end up working I'm gonna get another cyber jaw uh, Don't know how great that's gonna be because I think I can only use one but see what the last pack gives me. I just need something good. Uh, we get another Malevolent Nuzzler, which is going to work with um, Mataza the Zapper pretty well. Other than that, that was kind of lackluster. Not going to lie. The only really good thing I can think of was the Cyber Jar, which I got to. Malevolent Nuzzler is kind of nice. Uh, the Mystic Tomatoes were nice, I only got two of them, but, um, yeah, other than that, we didn't get anything amazing, we were just kind of worrisome, I got hiccups for some reason, so we'll just leave it at that, and, uh, I guess let's see what I missed out on. So here's what we could have pulled from, a uh, Magic Ruler. Uh, I missed out on a black pendant, which would have been kind of nice, to be honest. Uh, huh. Dragoonus the Wicked Knight is always a cool looking car. Fiend's Hand Mirror, that's kind of interesting. Um, uh, uh, Giant Germ would have been really nice. Even maybe even if I become Curie, I can go into a Tiny Wind Guard with that. Uh, I could have gotten another Hand Hand, apparently. Um, Invader of the Throne is kind of interesting because she has pretty beefy defense. Her effect is basically she steals a monster for that one turn, which is kind of interesting, but it only works, I think, as long as she's on the field. Um, could have gotten another Hitama. Uh, could have gotten, I think I might have gotten one Mahavalo. Could have gotten more. Could have gotten Messenger of Peace. Oh, I missed out on, I missed out on MST and Neo. Oof. Oh, man. And Painful Choice. That was the one that I figured I missed out on this set. Uh, apparently, I could have gotten another Pot of Greed. Interesting. We did get the Relinquished. Um, uh, could have gotten Spellbind Circle, which would have been really cool. And um, uh, that was about it. Yeah, it was just really painful choice that I was missing out on. Um, everything else I, I kind of got. Uh, other than that, everything else was kind of whatever. But. I just hope Kane didn't get a pay for choice. Not that it really matters for him right now, but it will matter later on. Um, so that's more than likely your tomato or a defensive monster. So I'm going to summon a little wing guard. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Yep. I'll go to battle. He'll get into swing at this thing. Cyber Jar! Oh yes. my god. I love this card so much. So this is the deck that I've come up with after long, long thought. Um, 
couple of things have changed. Some things have saved the same. So we still got the Chair of the Maze. I still think that's a pretty decent card to get early on. I play a good number of spell cards, so discarding one for spell destruction is not half bad. Um, I also don't really have anything too great to replace her with just yet. And he's at least an 18... Um, 1800 attacker. We got the new Cyber Jar. Cyber Jar is great. You gotta play Cyber Jar, right? It is forbidden, so I can only play one. Uh, our, our <laughs> one of our aces in the hole, our key cards, uh, Cybernetic Cly Cycloptian over here. Uh, we got the Dark Elf still, Exiled, Exiled Force, uh, the Little Wind Guard. Mission of Faith, I've added in the Mahavalo uh, because it plays in pretty well in conjunction with. Um, uh, Mataza the Zapper, as well as these two Mystic Tomatoes that I added in. Uh, I've got the Ninja uh, Sangha, and I have the one Weather Report. Uh, I've gone down to two Witch of the Black Forest, which I started with, but then I sided into a third one, and that didn't work out too well. But I think two is just as good as it's gonna get. My other key card in Cyberdeck Alligator, even though he hasn't really done much for me. Uh, the one Clayman and the one Gemini Elf. You can see I cut most of the elemental heroes out. In this and in the extra deck, I even took out the, sorry, not the extra deck, the side deck. I took out the uh, Shaman, uh, Necro, no, Necro Shade, and the um, uh, Blade Edge. I, I, I'm trying to say their names, but then I'm thinking of the fusion names. I'm like, Necro Shaman? No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Wild Edge? No, 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 no. Uh, but anyways. And then I put Wild Heart and Bubble Man to the side deck. Bubble Man is great he's worked out pretty well he's allowed me to special summon him i even got the effects of draw two cards but he hasn't really done much you know with that right being able to do that has been great but it hasn't really got me anywhere i haven't even been able to like trip him off do anything with him so i'm just gonna put him in the side deck side deck for now might side him in wild heart is mar marginally better than bubble man because he's not affected by trap cards but at the same time chris kane isn't playing crazy trap cards yet so he doesn't have sacrificing armor or like um anything like that all he really has access to is trap hole unless he pulled the mirror force and he didn't tell me about it so it's not super useful i also can't search it off which uh which makes it a little less useful um so for the spells we do have the change of heart that i just did not see in any of the three games last time uh dark hole fissure i've got two more in the side deck just in case there's a little more monster destruction uh, my two uh removals in tunade and heavy storm lightning voice checks and then two malevolent nuzzlers that i picked up as well as the one megamorph so i'm hoping that i can do something where i go into mystic tomato and then maybe go into sangin to get uh or rather into witch of the black forest in order to get either mahavalo or mataza the zapper then from there i have these three equip spells that i can use to power them up quite a lot uh, Mataza the Zapper with the uh, Malevolent Nuzzler is a nice 2,000 attack monster that can attack twice, so that's extremely good. Uh, I'll, I'll still run into defensive walls, but at least I won't lose any life points. And his 7 colored fish, which is giving me a lot of issues, really isn't going to give me that much trouble anymore. The only thing he can really throw out is a Dark Elf, which isn't too bad. Um, the other thing is I can equip it to Witch of the Black Forest, considering I have two of it, and it boosts her up to 1,800 which also lets me get through uh, Seven Colored Fish, as well as, let's say, new Magic Swordsman as well. Um, and if I have to crash into fish, that's kind of okay, because I think I can... I have to look up the ruling, but I think I can use Malevolent Nuzzler's effect to put her back on top of the deck, then trigger Witch's effect, and then get a card, and then have Nevel Malevolent Nuzzler shuffle somewhere into my deck so I can use it later on. Um, but either way, that's not too bad. Um, I think Malevolent Nuzzler's not too bad, to have, I, I can't see too many situations where it will be really bad. Um, other than that, everything is relatively unchanged. I did add in the Upstart Goblin, because that's, you know, one of, and it's nice to be able to draw one card. It's not as nice here, because one of the main issues I'm having is I don't have any sort of, like, game winners or any win conditions or anything like that in any of these decks so far. And there's not really much that I can do that, about that. The closest thing I've had to a win condition is either summoning Blade Edge and trying to go in, or going with Mataz or something like that. Uh, so that's why I'm just kind of playing sort of control and trying to just control the field and see if I can just eventually whittle down Kane and win. It's kind of similar to what he's doing 
um, but we'll see how this works out. Uh, for the traps, everything is relatively the same. I didn't get any new trap cards. I did put in the magic cylinder, which I had in the side deck um, at some point in the last game. Um, for the side deck, things have changed a little bit here. So I already went over the two heroes that I moved out. Um, I also took out, you know, the shade and the uh, necro shade and the uh, blade edge. They're gone, as well as the spark man. I forgot to mention. I took out spark man as well. Um, I mean, I could search it off witch, but it's fine. Um, he wasn't really adding too much to me. I did get a lot of, you know, interesting cards, like a high tailed Gujin and like um. What is it like? I forgot his name. The little robot guardian of the throne, I think it is. I got one of those, but like, I, I don't know if I can really make use of them other than just having him in the deck and, you know, attacking. But uh, we have the two weather reports here. There's a chance that maybe he doesn't play the, the three swords. He might not even be playing it last game because we only saw one of them. However, having three swords is still relatively good in this era. So I find it kind of hard to believe that he won't play at least two of them, right? So that's why I have these two here, just in case. I highly doubt that I'll side into them, but there's not really much that I can put in the side deck right now. Um, I still have the Sonic Duck in case I want to be a little more aggressive. The two Fissures in case uh, I need more monster destruction. Lightning Blade I moved to the extra deck, or side deck. Um, I keep saying extra deck because I'm just not actually using my extra deck. But just because Malevolent Luzzler is pretty much the same thing, the only good thing is that this is a little bit more attack and it also weakens his seven colored fish. But other than that, um, Eleven Lizard can be equipped to any monster, so that kind of trumps this, uh, and it you know allows me to play other cards that aren't uh, warrior monsters, such as Mahavalo. Uh, and I could even use that with uh, Gemini Elf if I wanted to for whatever reason, right? Um, and then I put in this stop defense in this side deck also because it doesn't seem to be too useful, but maybe we'll see some use of it. He might still be mildly defensive, so I don't think it's horrible. Um, because it still is one of the only outs I have to his high defensive monsters, other than like Smashing Ground and Fissure, but I kind of want to save that for big monsters, of which he doesn't really have, aside from Summon Skull, right? So ideally I want to get rid of his defensive monsters before he can summon Summon Skull, so there's the stop defense. And then finally we have, um, Relinquished in the side deck, along with two copies of Black Illusion Ritual. This I don't think I'm going to be able to use, because there's not really any good targets for Relinquished. Um, I could just in general just start stealing his monsters and start messing with him that way. Relinquish is pretty good. However, uh, the nice thing about Relinquish is that I can search it off with Sangian and Witch of the Black Farce, because it is a monster with zero um, attack and defense. So it can be searched off by any of these things. Uh, I can't use it to affect that turn, so if I were to, you know, turbo into it somehow, like attack. Uh, crash with witch or like do anything like that. I don't even do anything with it. So it's not that great But if it's on my turn if sir if it's on my opponent's turn I managed to Andrew relinquish the hand and maybe things aren't too bad. I was hoping I could use like um, Sonic bird or more importantly uh, send you after like um, uh, Like maybe playing like shining angel or something like that because I have a bunch of light monsters and then from there going to send you in order to get you know um um, Linkwish or like, you know, something like that, but it only works when it's special summoned. Um, sorry, it doesn't work when it's special summoned. It only works when it's normal or flip summoned. Um, but yeah, that's basically the deck. Uh, again, not much has changed, but at the same time, quite a couple of things have changed. The, the game plan is still the same, but the cards have changed a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping... I don't think for a couple of sets we're not going to get anything really in terms of like win condition. Everything is just going to be just play good stuff and wish for the best. So, wishing for the best. The greed to my hand. Wow. Okay. Are you gonna crash in? All right. It's still during the battle phase, so I'm going to crash into your monster with seven color fish. Fair enough. And I'm no, going attack. to attack directly with my two sangin. Fair enough. I will take All both. Right, two thousand. All right. Main phase two. Mm -hmm. Got to activate right. last will. Oh my god! What a fucking turn. Okay. Popping off. All right. Another oh, Saturday. We're in that alley again, but it's yeah, door dark day. Alley. It's a little cleaner <laughs> this time. I think they cleaned out the dark alley, so that's nice. <laughs> well, I was going to say, we're, we're doing this at, uh, at 2 p.m., so there's going to be, eventually, we're going to have people that are going to see us and want to, like, watch or even, like, talk to us in the middle of it. It's like, dude, just, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. 
That's true. That would be interesting. What are you guys playing? Like, all right, just you're ruining the vibe, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave us alone. Oh. oh man. And yeah, that one guy that's like, "Hey, could I play next?" I'm like, "We're, we're playing a match, and then once we're done, we're gonna <laughs> get on with our lives." So yeah, uh, exactly. no, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be right back. Yet. I'm gonna get my cards. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so you said that you didn't get shit out of Spell Ruler. Yeah, Spell Ruler was pretty disappointing. Um, you know, I don't remember too well right now what cards are in that pack, but I'm pretty sure it was a pretty big set. And I didn't get anything yeah. big. Which is really? uh, pretty depressing. I, yeah, I only got really like a few cards that I felt were worth like, um, <clears throat> you know, being happy about, you know, for like future duels and stuff. But right, um, yeah. Uh, uh, other than that, it, it, it's okay. You know, there, there's some good rares in it and stuff like that, but let's see. All right. New card I got, Upstart Goblin. Oof, nice, nice. Did you get right. any of these? Um, maybe. Maybe? Okay. But yeah, now, now from now on, all I got to worry about is the 39 card deck, so it's pretty good. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. We're going to start very simple. Okay. Go ahead. Good luck. Not bad. Good luck. Stand by draw. I liked your Opsart Goblin, but I think I like this card a little better. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Gonna go and draw my two cards here. Ooh. Um. Let's go to. Whoops, not battle. Oh. Let's okay. um. <laughs> normal summon this. Okay. Oh, why are you using the shitty art? The shitty art. <laughs> How's it the shitty? Art? I hate that art. It's so oh, whatever. It looks like a tomato, it's, or it looks like a pumpkin, but yeah, the, the other, other one's kind of creepy. Tomatoes way better. Nah, that shit's creepy. I'll, I'll talk into your monster. It's one of the best designs in the game. I have man-eater bug. Oh, balls. So no Star search for you. No search for me. Fair enough. Nope. Um, main phase two, <laughs> I will set two cards out. Oh, I'm mad disappointed with you. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's not fun, but I'm going to set again. And pass. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Uh, okay, so here is Witch of the Black Forest. Okay. Um. um <laughs> decisions. Decision. Sure. I will Ooh. use a Malevolent Nuzzler here. So now okay. Witch has a nice uh, 1800. Okay. Now attack into your face down. All right, so it's Trap Master, so let's Oof. go ahead and check out this card right here. Uh, see, if see if it's a trap or not. It is a trap. It is a trap. Hey. hey. Trap Master is a little bit way too good in this, this deck of yours. Um, yeah, until I find something way better. <laughs> yeah, I'll set a card. And I, and I think Heavy Storm was in this uh, set, or was it not? Maybe it um, It might have been. I actually, I get, I think it was a Metal Raiders, actually. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I might not know. Um. All right, I'm gonna set again. Go ahead. Sounds good. Oh man. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm gonna activate Giant Trunade. Oh, that's sick. Good for you. <laughs> so I will right. add um this to my hand, and uh, I'm going to add this to my hand. It's gonna go to the grave. Then I'm going to normal summon Mahavalo. Oh. And uh, can activate this. Uh, you say you didn't get any good cards. That's a good ass card right there. Yeah, I'll I'll be honest. This is rare. These two are the only ones. I, he's a super rare, I think. But this is pretty much cool. all I really got. Okay. I'll set a card. Uh, remove this counter. So he is going to have. Um. Let's see. Twenty-seven fifty. Yes. So I will go to battle. My he also gets twelve hundred attack points. Yeah. All right. So you attacked my wall of illusion. Ah, uh, balls. So Mahavalo goes to your uh, hand. Um, he skull. does. So Mahavalo will go to my hand. Um, yep. I will actually pay the five hundred here. Place it on top of the deck. Okay. To put yes, Malevolent Nuzzler to the top of my deck. Okay. Um, and then I'll swing in for eleven. All right. Fair enough. And uh, I'll end my turn. All right, I really need to get something good here. That is not bad, actually. All right, I'm going to... Oh, that's kind of a problem, actually. 
Well, okay, let me think. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. All right, I'm gonna s normal summon Witch's Apprentice. Okay. Is that good? Yep. Uh, so we're... Witch's Apprentice, actually, once she's summoned, she has 1,000, 1,050. So if you have Trap Hole, you technically could play it. Yeah, but I do not. Okay, I just wanted to specify that. Yep. So yeah, I, I, I was rereading her, and it turns out, yes, all dark monsters get 500 attack, including yep. your monster. Yep, thanks but I'm that. going to equip the Axe of Despair. Wow. On Witch's Apprentice, yeah. Jeebus, so okay. She, so she has 2,050 attack. Okay. We're going to go ahead and attack over Witch. Um... Interesting. Interesting. <sighs> um, acts of very despair. interesting <laughs> monster to equip a, a powerful equip spell to. Yeah. Like um, yeah, I think that's a little too threatening. I'm gonna sucker at Sue. Okay. I don't want you boosting up too much here. I hate to see it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go to main page two. I'm gonna activate last will. Oh, balls. Okay. Which, let me see here. So it's the only second time I've ever used this card, ever. Last Will? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Or did I use it, like, twice last? Anyway. Yeah, last <laughs> video was when I was actually using the card. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go safe bet. I'll just go with Witch. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. And then I'm going to set a card, and that'll be it. Okay, oh well. Not, not a bad use of last will right there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of good. Right, so you have Maha Vilo, Malevolent Nuzzler, two other mystery cards up there. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like that which has so much defense right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alright, I might not have another choice. I will... So Maha Vilo, Trap Hole. Okay. Yep. That's good. Um, <laughs> I'll set a card. And I'll just probably play like a lot of equip spells if you only have like one Mahavilo. <laughs> Unless you pulled maybe multiple, but we'll see. Imagine I pulled three super rare Mahavalos. That'd be sick. It's possible I pulled three swords. That is true. All right, I'm going to sacrifice Witch to tribute summon summon Skull. Yep, figured as much. Okay. Is that good? That is okay. All right, and then which lets me grab. I don't know. You could also not get anything. I mean, that's an option. Yeah, it's optional. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a shame. Okay, let's go ahead. I guess I'll grab. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. My own Mystic Tomato. Summon Skulls attack over. Yep. That is going to be 1,400. No. Let's go. Yeah. Nine. Yep. Five is... No, 13. No, 14. Yeah, but 14. yeah, 14. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, she'll go to grave. I can get like myself. <laughs> um, What can I get here? Quite a lot of options here. Um... Hmm... Um, yeah, I think I'll it's, just it's, grab... It's always, like, I, I miss using Sangan, because, like, now that our decks are always going to be different, like, it's such a big decision now. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, we always have, like, new monsters we could potentially grab, and we're just like, hmm, is this On the that, right time? Okay. That, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Ooh, man. Yeah, Witch is definitely better than Sangan. Yeah, she's pretty good. I yeah. will normal summon this Gemini Elf. Okay. I will activate this level Nuzzler. And, yep, 2600 attack. That she does? Ah, uh, so oh, fair. I swing <laughs> in. No, actually, no, not. <laughs> and I will end. Summon Skull is not bad. Alright. Let me see. Um. It's probably a mistake, but, um. I think I'm going to set a monster. Mm -hmm. And. Set a card, and that's it. Okay. Stand by main. Um, is this worth it? 
Um, you can get a search if it's another Sangin. You already got your witch. Uh, I don't think you're playing Hane Hane. You already lost your man eater, so it's probably a defensive monster. Um, you don't have Sakuretsu or anything like that. You do have trap holes, which kind of suck. I, I have shit ass traps. Like, I need really good ones. Um, could be Wall of Illusion if you pulled another one, but I don't think I've seen more than one. Um, I actually don't know if Wall of Illusion, like, probably comes out in a much later set. Uh, I maybe? I, I don't think it's too far off. Right. Alright. Um, yeah, Wall of Illusion's a pretty good card that you get right off the bat with the starter deck, but doesn't come out in another set for a long time. Alright, I'll do it. I'll normal summon Exalt Force. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will tribute Exalt Force oh, for this defense. I was not monster. expecting that. You know, Ooh, I was okay. not expecting that. I was hoping to get some value off of that. That's what I figured. Damn. I'll hit in for 27. Uh, my turn. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna set another card and pass. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. Um, I am gonna summon Mataza Zapper. Oh no. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. That's great. Uh, let's go with Gemini Elf for 27. All right, Oof, I'm gonna protect my life points for right now. Fair enough. I will swing you in for two just cause. <laughs> gonna attack me just to <laughs> yeah. hit me. And I'll end. All right, I'm going to activate Dark Hole. Oof, that's good. Oof. Hobogu is so good, I will not activate. I'm gonna let Nazar. All right, um, and I'm going to set again. Go ahead. Roboku is so good because, like, even if I destroy it, you still get the effect. Stand by main. Yeah. I will set. Um, I'm going it's to. It's a good reactive trap. Yeah. Normal summon. Um, Mystic Tomato. Mm -hmm. And I will hit into this defensive monster. All right. Oof, Turn it back to your hand. To my hand it goes. All okay. right. Come Go on. Ahead. Got a nice top deck there. There you go. Actually, yes, sir. Um, oh my god. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, fair I'm enough. gonna regret this, but I will discard. Um, no, why would I do that? Yeah, no, I'll I'll, I'll discard. Oh, boy, please, please play out how I want to see. I'll discard Mystic Tomato. All right, all right, fair enough. Excellent. Uh, stand by main. I will normal summon. Hopefully it doesn't summon anything with 4200 attack. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. <laughs> Cybernetic <laughs> clapped over whatever the hell. Um, yeah, will... Cyclopean. Cyclopean. I will set two cards. Now has All right. 2400. Did I'll you swing just draw in. that? Uh, no. Okay. I was gonna Maybe discard attention. him, but I was hoping I would draw something I could set. <laughs> right, right. So. Okay. I. Uh kidding me cybernetic it's like opium beat down getting at you hey go let's ahead. go um that's a little that's a little awkward um i'm gonna activate yeah i'll activate heavy storm okay all right okay that's what i figured I will tribute my ace for my actual ace cyber tech okay. alligator. All right, I'll so, so my whole strategy for some reason is that I was hoping that whatever you drew was something you couldn't set or play for some reason, and, yeah. and I could survive with 400 life points. Although, I'm pretty sure every card you play is something that you could summon or set, so I, I don't know. I, I was hoping for something, but yeah, that, damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going first. Okay. You're going first. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Okay. Alright, good luck. Alright. I'm going to start. Thank you. I'm gonna wow. start with start goblin. Gotcha. Not the best to draw, but that's okay. Um Not the best. Well like as opposed to like pot agree, like it's oh, alright. Okay. Fair enough. You know. I'm gonna set and pass. Okay. Sounds good. 
Standby main. Um, I'm going to um, normal summon Sangin here. Okay. And then the mighty Sangin is gonna get in on this defensive monster. It is gonna be a Sangin. mighty Sangin. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay. Um, I could Let's see. I'll add Witch to my hand. Okay, fair enough. That's a pretty I'm good one. One and only Witch. <laughs> yeah. No. I will go to main space. Okay. And okay. I will set two cards. And I will end my turn. Okay. Set two cards. Um. <clears throat> Let's do Tomato. Mm, okay. Alright, gonna attack over Sangin. That is a okay. I will take All right. 400. Saying I will go to grave and I will search for my deck to add to my hand. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's that's a valid target. Uh, I so will it's like add... the anime where every, all the characters have these run-on sentences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will add Matazo Zap. Play Pot of Greed. This allows me to draw two extra cards from my deck to my hand. Like, you didn't have to sit, like have such a long <laughs> sentence. You know what um, I mean? <laughs> I will activate Compulse here on oh your... God. I'm trying uh, to hit for big damage. Gonna hit for big damage. No. I will normal summon Matazo the Zapper. Motherfucker, this guy. I'll make him stronger yeah, with Malevolent Nuzzler. You know what? People, like, remember when Hayabusa Knight was the best card, like, yeah. to, to attack twice? Like, then this card came out. Yeah, no. Hayabusa's That's a chump. Crazy. I will... Yeah, compared to him, yeah. Kindly hit you for 2,000. He stole the thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, alright. He has 2,000. Oh, he has 2,000 attack. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Uh, and I'll go to Sambai and oh, uh, no. I'll end. Go ahead. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I was going to say, we can't really special summon. Like, we don't have mm -hmm. monsters that can special summon themselves. I mean, so special summon with Mystic Tomato. That counts. Yeah, but I meant, like, to get two monsters <laughs> on the field right now. Yeah. It's impossible. All right, I'm going to set one and set. Go ahead. Okay. That's okay. rough. Two thousand uh, attacker that can attack twice. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, he's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so that's more than likely your tomato or a defensive monster. So I'm going to summon a little wing guard. Is that okay. okay? Okay. Yep. I'll go to battle. He'll get into swing at this thing. Cyberjar! Oh yes. my god. I love this card so much. Well, that's not what, what I does. thought. Yep. Alright, yep. so... All monsters on the field. Yep. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, let's see. Um, I won't pay. Both players will reveal the top five cards of the deck, so I'm going to banish the top five. Banish. Bam, Oof. bam, Oof. bam. Oh, this Oof. is sick. Bam. Oof. God damn it. Oof. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Okay. So, oh, you have your own cyber jar. That's <laughs> yeah. Sick. All right. So for the people at home that Dream don't know, cloud. pretty much wow. all chain uh, energy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, all. Um, so of the five cards, we can now choose to normal summon. Uh, excuse me. Uh, summon an attack or face down defense. All level four or lower monsters. Everything else goes back to the hand. Yep. So you have three summonable monsters. I, is it optional though? Uh, like you, nope. But I think you then just special, have to. Oh, special summon all revealed level four lower monsters in face up attack or face down defense. Yep. Uh, you did attack, so I'm going to. Yep. Let's see. I'm gonna it's do. It's uh, a face down. Right. Or is it... No. Yeah. I, I just uh, okay. had to yep. put it there like that. All right. And I'm gonna add the rest of the cards that I gained yep. to my hand. Yep. I will, as you saw, I got my own cyber jar. Yeah. I'm gonna. Um, yeah, yeah, your own cyber jar. Wow. Yeah, I'll put crazy. that there. And put that there. Okay, but he's only got 14. Yeah. Um, set this. And it's still, during, it's still your battle phase as it well. It's still my battle phase. Um, What was this again? <laughs> what was what? your set monster? <laughs> well, cyber... Uh, oh, dream clown. 
Dream Clown. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm investing in D Dream Clown. I think he might be a, a decent card to play. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe not this time because I think he only has 900 defense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll hit it down. So you're gonna attack over him? Yeah. Okay. All right. Not bad. Uh, you got nothing phase to protect two. him, so there's no point yeah. in trying to cash in his effect because there's no way it's gonna work. <laughs> Um, I will fissure this this Interesting. fish you got there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just end. Go ahead. Oof. All right. Well, that was a pretty good cyber jar. That yeah, not bad. Pretty happy about that. Um. Let's see here. Come on, you have like twenty cards in hand. <laughs> I you gotta more, have something. <laughs> I wish I had more. Um, okay, we are going to... Yeah, I'm gonna activate Giant True Mate. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. So yeah, I got I'm my own. This to my hand. Okay. You gonna throw and down Mooka Mooka or something? Or you got all these cards in hand? Mooka Mooka, yeah. <laughs> if I would have known the duel would end up this way, with this many <laughs> cards, that'd be sick. All right, I am going to, I don't see why not. I'm going to normal summon which lady? Okay. Or, excuse me, which of the black force? I don't know why I thought, thought her name was which lady of the black force. <laughs> which <Forest>. lady? <laughs> um, yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably a different card. Going to attack into what I believe is, this is your cyber jar. My, my target is cyber jar, so hopefully this is cyber jar, but. Um... I'll give Pretty it to sure you. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I was, was going to say, because like, I, I, sh I should know where you put it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's anyway. fair. So, All right, activate. so Cyber Jar is going to trigger. Oh, yeah. there goes my Magician of Faith. Yep. All right, that's all, all according to plan. So we get to do it again. Yep. For the top cards of our decks. Mm -hmm. I'm liking my pool so far. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Oh, no. you only have one summonable monster, but you got Megamorph. Wow. Okay. Yeah, what we... the? Wait. Is that from? Uh... That is oh from. God. I think this. Uh, I think it was like a Jaded rare. Starter deck? Oh my no, god. I think it was from um, Magic Ruler. I think it was just a rare. Right. Um, All right. So I'm going to summon everybody geez. in attack position, and I'm yep. going to add the Summon Skull and the Trap Hole. Okay. To my hand. I will summon my Grandmaster. I will add change of heart, um, Megamorph, Dust Tornado, and Pot of Greed to my hand. Wow. Okay. Are you going to crash in? All right. It's still during the battle phase, so I'm going to crash into your monster with seven color fish. Fair enough. And, and I'm going attack. to attack directly with my two Sangin. Fair enough. I will take All both because right, I have a choice. All right. Main phase two. Mm-hmm. Going to activate last will. Oh, my God. What a fucking turn. Okay. Popping off. Um, I think. Ooh, that's inter That's an interesting idea, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll. I think I'll normal summon uh, Mystic Tomato with it. Okay. Or, yeah, special summon it. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's okay. the best choice. All right, I'm going to set. Yep. Set. Yep. Whoops! Almost activated this. Set. Yep. And I'm going to activate Chain Energy. <laughs> oh my God. He Chain so energy. each player must pay 500 life points per card to normal summon, special summon, set, or activate cards from his or her yeah. hand. 500 to so the fact anything. that it was the last card I could play was probably the best thing I could do. Fair enough. Go ahead. All right, all you right. You must pay to play. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> man, how how you how, how they intended it. Um, I will activate now. Pot of Greed. All right, pay 500. Pay my 500. <laughs> Put him in a fucking. Hopefully this doesn't screw me. Charge me to play this game. All right. Yep. Um, boy, I will pay five hundred to activate this change of heart. Okay. Um, it's not really gonna make a difference. Um, I'll take this. Okay. I'll put this to the grave. I will tribute that to summon this. All right, pay 500 again. Another 500. And I'm gonna pay 500 to activate my trap hole. Ooh, very nice. And that will go to grave. 
Um, that's Yikes. that's good. That's a good one. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I already summoned. So I will yep. set one. Pay five hundred. Two. Pay five hundred. Yep. So that's a thousand. <laughs> um. I don't know if that's really worth it in the long run. You know, getting giant Trunade and Chan energy was so sick. I thought, like, yeah, you can, yep. you can, I can put all of his cards back in his hand and then play this card. That is good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, and we're almost like even in points too, which is nice. Yeah. If I do it, that happens. And then. It wouldn't be that bad, yeah. Okay. I will activate Dark Hole. Alright, pay 500 for that. And I'm going to get my one search. Yep. Um. Oh man, I'm not sure exactly what to go for. I think I'll go for Cannon Soldier. Wow. <laughs> what the f wow, okay. Uh, that's, uh, alright. That is super interesting. All right, so I have six cards, <laughs> um, so I can safely end my turn here. Go yeah. ahead. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Here's okay. hoping you have to play I, seven cards. I am going to activate Monster Reborn, pay 500. Oof, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for your uh, alligator. Sure. I think, hold on. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the alligator. Sure. That's another 500. Okay. What's that? That's another 500. Well, no, like I, I, I pay 500 to play the card, right? But like, I, this I is don't for think special summon also. Right, but like I, the mon I'm not special summoning. Like I'm specially, I'm activating Monster Reborn, and Monster Reborn is doing it. Does that make sense? Like I activated uh... my card, and it, and it causes me to special summon. But like I'm not special summoning like a monster, like for its, like itself. I believe that's how chain energy works. Oh, that actually doesn't Cause matter because it, it's only from it's your hand. It's done through like one card. What's that? It's only from your hand, so it doesn't matter. Right. And then I'm okay. going to pay 500 to I will... summon Cannon Soldier. I will pay my own 500 to. Really? Okay. Flip that down. Actually, I don't All have right. 500. It's already. Well, it's, it's already to set. Card. Or, oh. or activate cards. Oh, from, oh, from the hand. hand. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. For that, I don't have to pay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um. Okay, I am going to go into battle phase. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attempt to attack directly. I will hit this sucker at two. <laughs> I was gonna say we, we probably have been screwing up by by like active like paying five hundred activate cards on the field. I hopefully hopefully we haven't done that. No, I think you maybe did it once for your trap hole. I think that was the only one. I think so, that's what I did. Yeah, so you can give yourself five hundred for that. But okay, I think that's yeah, the yeah, because <laughs> it's been, this card's so old, no one likes yeah. playing. <laughs> All right, I have to end. There's nothing else I can do. Fair enough. Stand yeah, it's from me. the hand. I keep forgetting. Oh man. Oh my god, I was so scared it was magic cylinder. That would have been done. I would have been done. Oh, wow. Um so I'm gonna activate giant true made. Okay. Pay five hundred for that. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Alright, thanks for Oh that sucks actually. Oh well. <laughs> Hand, hand, all right. Um, I will set two now that I don't have to pay <laughs> Just shit. to not pay the life points, yeah. yeah. I messed bitch. up because uh, I could have won this turn. But, really? Um, I will play this. Ooh, okay. Oh, actually, no, I, still, I think I still can. Uh, I'll activate... Yeah, I'll activate right. this. Equip it to Dark Oh, Elf. no, because you're... Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, because your life points will then be lower yep. because of her. So I'm oh, going to battle. Oh, too good. Uh, I'll declare. I lose yep. a thousand. 
Yep. And she becomes four dollars. Um, four thousand. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, good. Good game. Damn good it. Game. Son of a bitch. <laughs> So. It, it was so risky to go first because I was hoping that I could like set up and then play this, like to yeah. start the duel. But like you already inflicted four thousand damage to me. Yeah, yeah. By the time I got this, oh man, that's good. Well, I'm, that I'm still... glad you played that because I was actually considering doing like a burn deck with this and like toll yeah. and that kind of stuff. So I'm glad you you yeah. to show that off. Yeah, I, I sided these in because. Uh, when I recorded my deck profile, I was like, Curly's probably gonna hate me, but like, I just, I just want to see if like I feel like I could sneak this in game two. No, and no, like, that was great. I'm, I'm glad to, that I got to see it. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna let you know. Uh, I had this set. Like, I was hoping that, Ooh. you know, if if Cybertech Alligator's attack would have went through, I would have chained this in the damage step, and you would have been, I think, less than 500 life points. So, like, if you played a single card in your hand, you would have lost. Like, that's yeah. what I was hoping would happen, but you stopped it. Because, you again, yeah. you have really good trap cards. Yep, yep. I that only have three good. trap cards in my deck. That's wow. it. Just three. Two trap holes and a Wabaku. That's all I have worth playing. Good God. Did um, you, um... Okay, so first off, did you get... What did you get for your tin? What tin did you get? All right, so I span the wheel and got Black Skull Dragon. Ooh, right? nice. Big, big excitement, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I would have preferred to summon Skull, but we'll see. You know, yeah. Whatever. Um... No, so um, out of the ten, I actually got a uh, magician of faith. Wow. Okay. So I finally got my own, like, so I didn't miss out on it. <laughs> nice. So that's what um, be. Yep. And then, yeah, I pulled two giant true nades. Wow. You know? Okay. I uh, I didn't notice the first one that I pulled until when I pulled the second one, I was surprised. And then I look at my collection, I was like, wait, I pulled two. <laughs> but Good job. unfortunately, it is currently banned. Yeah, so, so you can only play one. one. But other than that, I didn't really get much. Um, okay. I, I've been, I've been having Dream Clown, but like I think I, I pulled one giant rat, which made me sad because I don't think mm -hmm. that justifies playing one giant rat just so that you get like a Dream Clown. Yeah. No. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I was thinking of like playing more equip spells, but I don't know. The the part in me feels like. If you play too many equip spells, then you could potentially draw more equip spells and like less yeah. monsters. Get so down. that's not good. There's always that. Um, okay. Scared so of that, that's but fair. other than that, all my good spell cards. I was drawing so many monsters. I wasn't drawing any of my good stuff. Okay. And yeah, when I uh, when I was playing like Witch's Apprentice, powering up dark monsters or whatever, and since I played like three Sangans and a Witch, I, I saw that I had Cannon Soldier, and I was like, that would be kind of fun. Yeah, that's that's hella good. I yeah, it gets the effect of Stangan and inflict five hundred like without yeah. having you have to attack. Like, I thought that's that was crazy. pretty sick. Plus, you can get him out with Mystic Tomato, which I only pulled two of. I was pretty sad. Uh, me too. <laughs> yeah, so as soon easy. as I saw I got two, I was like, please give me a third one. Nope. So, uh, as for my pulls, um, yeah. you saw the the Megamorph. That was actually an ultra rare. God, good God! Like with, so that with was Dark Elf, one. it's the best. Yeah, that's a good one. I also got a Tomb World, which is kind of pointless. <laughs> uh, um, it's, it's pretty sick. Yeah, and then I got a giant True Nade, but I already had one, so that was kind of pointless. So the oh, only with the other, deck, yeah, yeah, the only other good card I pulled other than Megamorph was Mahavalo. Um, yeah, that, that's such a good one. Yeah. I did manage to get uh, this an one upside goblin, which is cool. Okay. And then interestingly enough, uh, I also got a couple of cards. I wasn't going to tell you about it, but I also got a relinquished <laughs> ultra rare. Yeah. Um, which that would have been nice cool. to, to just just have for the hell of it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you get this the illusion ritual? I will tell you that I have two of them. Really. So I can. Oh my god! I would have popped the fuck English. off if I got those. So I actually have it in my side deck. Um, That's sad. But uh, can we there's not really much. For, <laughs> there's not much for me to steal from you. Um. So until you get like big monsters, then then you can worry about that. No, man, that's so good because like, well, I, I don't think it's worth it to like play one relinquished and one right. ritual spell. But like, you could search for relinquished, but then right you're just with gonna sangin and witches. Yeah, yeah but. Yeah, it's too much investing, and like you might as well. Just... Oh my God, you actually do play the weather report. That's actually yeah. really funny. <laughs> That's such a good card. Uh, 
I'm, I'm so hoping I can get this off soon. Because that'll be yeah. hilarious. Fox <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a flip effect, but that is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you can get, man. you can perform your battle phase twice. That's such a yeah. punishment. Oh, yeah. man. No, I, I only play like two swords. For whatever reason, I'll side a third, but. Uh, their swords are usually like the card that I'll side out for, but yeah, I, I think I sided out some equip spells for chain energy because I thought that was pretty smart. Yeah, but, no, uh, things were looking really good for Cyberjarx until you had your own. So yeah. now that kind of that kind of <laughs> ruined everything. Yeah, I mean, did you get multiple Cyberjars? Uh, I know I got two. Okay, me too. That's yeah, interesting. I, you know, I I just basically like I'll I won't look at a set. And I will um, just have it be a surprise. Like I'll yeah, just yeah, I'll too. just open the box, see what I get, and then go from there. I, I don't do some whole thing in the beginning where I look at what I could get. No, I um, do the opposite. Uh, I, I'll get my pulls, yeah. and then afterwards I'll look at what I miss. Oh, really? You'll do yeah. that to yourself? <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, oh man. You like I think we yourself? missed out on like solemn judgment and stuff like that in this set. Uh, I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I actually was pretty happy to get Cyber Jar. Um, giant trunade upstart mm -hmm. i was yeah. just like oh shit like that's not even that great of a card i just like that i have it no those are pretty solid cards um yeah just those three alone make this set worth it especially going forward so don't worry about it yeah uh well yeah i, I really need to get some good traps or some good spell and trap removal because this is ridiculous yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you got because the then i now. when i drew wabaku i was like well great well i mean i could have him hopefully summon another monster, protect myself, and then get more out of Dark Hole. Yeah. Because I, I felt like I was in big trouble most of that time, and I wasn't drawing any of my equip spells and shit, so. Seven Colored Fish never showed up, like, until Cyber Jar, but. Thank man. God. He gave me so much trouble last time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also playing, like, one or two Dark Zebra, but. Yeah. <laughs> didn't see them at all, but. Oh, that's pretty funny. But yeah, I, I think you're, yeah, you definitely have, I want to say, like, yeah, you have really strong monsters, like, especially with equip spells. Like, I forgot about Zapper. I thought maybe you would take him out. No. But I'm surprised <laughs> he's still there. Wingard's still a good effect monster. Yeah. Yep. Cyclopean is just wrecking me every time. Yep. I probably won't take out Zapper and Wingard until you start playing maybe Gravekeepers or something like that. Then I'll, I'll maybe <laughs> yeah. change my mind, but. Yeah, I don't um, know. Maybe playing two thousand defense monsters might be better because, like, I, I I try to abandon that strategy. I mean, I but, don't know. Uh, it might be a little better. I and, mean, yeah, I, I don't I have, have a way to out them yet. So, yeah. actually, like dark elf in my hand, but since I had chain energy, I was like, I don't feel like paying life points. <laughs> Fifteen hundred, yeah, that would have been a bit much. Yeah. Uh, all right, but that was a lot of fun and uh enjoy your tin um yeah yeah I, di I didn't really get anything out of the pack that you wagered i, I don't oh. think so <laughs> but, uh, that's good the I set's still, so still fun to open now you could potentially get other cards that you missed out on and you know hopefully the next set is good to me and i'll be able to <laughs> come up with a little bit of a better strategy because the whole cannon soldier dream clown idea like i feel like they're very powerful effects but they're just weak yeah. And like, I thought I could be able to, you know, protect them with Rush Recklessly, Swords of Billing Light, Wabaku, all sort of stuff. But sometimes Yu Gi Oh! to me is just such a situational game. Because, like, you could have a game plan, but, like, again, if it's situational, it's probably not good. Right. Yeah. So it's good to have a dead set, like, strategy that's, like, really dominant. And, and yeah, you definitely showed it. So. Yeah. Um, also, I'm kind. Of, I, I wanted to mention it during the duel, but I'm kind of kicking myself because, like, since we're playing Giant Trunade, I was like, why am I not playing card destruction? <laughs> why aren't you? What is wrong? With you? I don't know. I, I don't think the card is good. Like every time I, I look at it, I go, well, yeah, but this could fuck me too. I'm like, no, but we're playing no. Giant Trunade. Like yeah. it does kind of, you know, help things. So maybe I'll main deck it next time. Maybe I'm I'm totally wrong. You know, that would, uh, you would at have the time almost... we're recording this, we haven't started posting the series yet. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm waiting for people to kick me. <laughs> the comments go, why aren't you playing Last Will in the first video? And we like, would have had I'm like our whole work. deck if you had it this game. Because um, at one point we had like eight cards and we only have like, I, I only have 15, you only have 13. So we would have drawn I could have like, set our everything deck. and played Card Destruction. And now that we have Cyber Jar, I totally should play it. Yeah. And then like after Chain Energy, I would just be like, well, shit, now what do I do? Right. Yeah. 
sucks. I mean, you would have drawn more, you know, replacement cards, but the, the potential of you just sending all of your good traps to the grave, all your yeah, good yeah. monsters and spells, like, it's too good. So, yeah, I was kicking myself, like, earlier. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Wanting to say something, but I didn't want to say anything. Anyway, all right. But, yeah, this was fun. Um, this has been really, really fun to do every every Saturday. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the drawing board, uh, have a whole week to try to figure out. And I'm going to go gonna... sit no, comfortably, <laughs> comfortably in my victory circle. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. So that's two wins for you, one for me. But th yep. this is really fun. So I'm glad I'm glad we're doing this. So Absolutely. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later. See you. Take care.